right, I'm heading to Great Falls in a roundabout way. <laughs> and I will take video uh, uh, occasionally as I travel up, uh, especially when it's really pretty and stuff like that. But most of the trip, the first part is a little bit dull. Uh, second part, not bad. Well, I'm just north of uh, Helena now. Helena is the uh, state capital of uh, Montana. This is the first view of the Missouri River. Uh, the rest of this trip is going to be alongside it. I'm about uh, 50 miles south of the uh, Great Falls right now. Clearing the canyon and uh, just approaching the great uh, northern plains of Montana uh, where the mountains end and the great plains uh, of the United States begin. So this is Charlie Russell country up here. Wide open spaces and big sky and the Missouri River. Uh, about 30 miles south of Great Falls now. There's one of the uh, flat top uh, bluffs that uh, has been in Charlie Russell's paintings. I'll uh, show you his paintings when I get to the uh, Charlie Russell Museum up in uh, Great Falls. Uh, one reason I'm going to Great Falls, not just for the commercial, I, I intended to come up here anyway and do some research at the uh, museum and I figured I'd take this opportunity to do that and uh, since I'm coming up anyway. So I'm uh, going to go to the Charlie Russell Museum and I'll show you that uh, that beautiful museum and maybe his studio too. I just depends on whether they allow me to take a camera inside. I took uh, Alfred Hitchcock's daughter through that museum and uh, through his house up here. Uh, she came up to visit me at the uh, Charlie Russell show and uh, years ago back in the 90s, early 90s. She, she and her husband uh, were clients of mine. As you can see, it's just flat prairie from here on. During the Cold War, this was a dangerous place to live because uh, <laughs> the Russians had this place targeted with their uh, nuclear missiles, and uh, we had our we have probably thousands of, of missile silos buried out here th throughout the area. You can see them every once in a while. They'll have a fence around them and stuff like that. Uh, I think they're all deactivated now because Cold War is pretty much over. Uh, so people buy them and live in them and stuff like that, or they just, you know, bury them. 
but uh, it was interesting back in the 80s and 90s to come up here and see those missile silos. All right, uh, I'll pick it up later. Okay, there's Charlie Russell's uh, home right there that uh, he painted in and, well, actually lived in. Uh, I think he has a studio around here. It's a log cabin. There's a statue of uh, Charlie Russell. This is by Bob Scriber. I, uh, but uh, he's passed away. Good man. Anyway, that's Charlie Russell up there. Got only got an hour before they close, and they won't be open tomorrow. So this is by uh, another artist. I'm not sure who the guy is, but it's a big damn piece. Some of the guns they've got here. Beautiful, beautiful rifles. This is a painting by Charlie Fritz. Charles J. Fritz, actually. He died the same year as Charlie Russell. He was born earlier, though, so he died yeah. older. Here's a photograph of Charlie Russell. And this is a sculpture by Harry Jackson. I, I've met Harry. In fact, Harry was one of the first Western bronze artists I, I ever met. A lot of this stuff is, is sculpted in uh, Italy and uh, cast over there. So it's These are paintings by O.C. Seltzer. He uh, studied under uh, Charlie Russell. This is called The Raiders. It's, it was painted in 1915. Hard to see it with a glass on it. These are all by O.C. Seltzer. You can see a similarity between him and, and Charlie Russell's work. He learned from the master. This one's called The Outpost by O.C. Seltzer. Another one by O.C. Seltzer. This one was painted in 1914 by O.C. Seltzer, called Indian Women with Travoy. This is called Prairie Mother and uh, by O.C. Seltzer again. You sure see the influence of Charlie Russell in his work. Tracks end at the river. This is uh, O.C. Seltzer with Charlie Russell. Okay, this is uh, another O.C. Seltzer. All these are in this room are his glasses in front of this. So there's a little reflection. It's, this one's called Pursuit. It looks like the guy's being thrown off his saddle. 
for a shot off a saddle one of the two. What kind of sculpture work you do? What? Okay, this is called a foothill nester. That's somebody who built a cabin on somebody's property or, or near somebody's property or somebody's pro somebody wants that property. It was called a nester. Yeah, I used to paint. I'm trying to get back to it. Oh, yeah. So the back up here is a building. It just keeps getting worse over 20 odd years and I haven't been able to get near a paintbrush. Much yeah, you have, it takes a while to get back into it, too. These are some of the sculptures, I think, by Charlie. He, these are out of plaster, no less. Incredible little sculptures. Painted clay plaster. guy was a genius. He was self-taught. He used to trade his artwork for drinks at the local saloons until he got married and his wife forced him to sell the work. <laughs> this is his sash and uh, cowboy hat and his boots. And some more of his sculptures here. Years ago, I got to meet Jack Russell, who is his adopted son at the Russell Show. I think these are all plaster. Painted plaster. Amazing. Some playful monkeys on a limb, tiny little buggers. A little monkey inside of a lariat. That is so tiny, that's probably about three inches across, if even that. All these are less than five inches tall. I don't know who this is, but it's kind of a neat little sculpture. He did a lot of fun little caricatures. Here's a, uh, I guess a mold for this thing too, a rubber mold. Anyway, this is uh, obviously a Dutch girl. And there's a, uh, Fryer on the back of a mule. That's, that's so cool. These are really small. All right, that's all I have time to show you. The place is about ready to close, and I want to go get a couple of reference books from their, their uh, bookstore here, so I'm going to go do that right now. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this little brief tour of this uh, wonderful museum here in Great Falls, Montana, the Charlie Russell Museum.